Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my September 2024 book haul. So I have a little stack of books to show you. I'll see if I can remember where I got them from as well. I got them from various places. Let's see. Dane reads. Okay, so these two were from the uh, charity book exchange at my local Morrison's at the supermarket. I got The Seducer's Diary by Soren Kierkegaard. Uh, all I know is that Kierkegaard is a f philosopher and um, certainly looks <laughs> pretty dense. Um, I believe it is fiction though, and this is from a Penguin uh, Books Great Loves series. The little blurb, I might as well read it to you because it's quite short. It just says, love can be controlling. Uh, Johan is an asthi dedicated to creating the possibility of seduction through the careful manipulation of young women. He stealthily pursues the innocent Cordelia until she becomes increasingly drawn to him. But when she is ready to give herself completely, she realizes she may have got everything wrong. Um, I also got I Can't Accept Not Trying, which is Michael Jordan on the pursuit of excell excellence. It seems as though it's not gonna be like a super dense read or whatever, but should be interesting. Um, I, I mean, I can't say I'm, a, I'm I don't particularly care for basketball. Um, they used to make us play it at school and I'd always stub my fingers and get bruised fingers, which meant I wasn't able to play guitar. I actually almost lost a paid gig for 200 pounds when I was 14, which even with compound interest today, that's like 300 quids worth of, you know, um, four or $500 worth as a, as a 14 year old. So that was a significant thing in my childhood, you know? Um, but Jordan is obviously very influential. Uh, I also got Red Dwarf, Discovering the TV Series, Volume 1, 1988 to 1993 by Tom Selinski. This is an unedited proof, not for sale edition. Um, and uh, it's basically just this guy's kind of, he goes episode by episode um, through Red Dwarf, basically. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, and yeah, it will be interesting. Uh, I'm a big Red Dwarf fan. I have read some of the reviews and the reviews aren't great. And I will say, looking at it, I know it's just an advanced copy, but it doesn't look great either. Also, I skipped, just flashed through and there's a list of his definitive episodes or whatever, worst, best to worst episodes. And like here, he's got it's under two stars. One of them is Backwards, which is, I would say, one of the best episodes. Uh, Meltdown is my favorite episode. So, and that's another two star one. So, um, yeah. And then like four and a half stars to Queeg, which is my, probably one of my least favorite episodes. So it's just, it's gonna be weird going through this because I don't know, it's very much just his thoughts on it. And it's like, well, I, I guess, you know, I might not agree with him, but we'll see anyway. Um, so I got that, I got sent that. And then I picked these up from uh, Get Free Books, which is the Global Education Trust charity where basically you can go in and you can pick up some books for free. It's to encourage people to do some reading. Uh, I picked up Mussolini, His Part of My Downfall by Spike Milligan. Um, it's one of his war memoirs, one of the ones that I haven't got to yet. Um, I picked up Yellow Face by Rebecca Kwong. Um, it's just a very well-known booktube book. And then I got uh, Graham Greene and Cinema by Judith Adamson. Um, now, Graham Greene is one of my favorite authors of all time, so I just thought it would be interesting to learn a bit more, you know? All right, folks, I got a uh, little stack of books, mostly from the, um, the free, uh, the Get Free Books place, although I think some of these are also from, I found a little um, free book library in a uh, bus stop of all places while I was on a run, so I picked up, and they're like the two of the heavier ones as well, I think it was these two, I picked these two up uh, during my run, and then carried on running for another 15 miles with them on my back. But anyway, I have The Fantastic Book of Everybody's Secrets by Sophie Hanna, so this is a short story collection by Sophie Hanna, um, which is interesting because I know she writes short stories, I've just never read any of them, I've only ever read her novels. Uh, we have Don't Make Me Think by Steve Krug, um, so this is basically a guide to uh, web design and browser design. It's a very influential one. It's about making things as easy as possible for people. Again, the idea is don't make me think. You shouldn't have to think when you go on a website. You should just autumn, like naturally, through instincts, be able to navigate to what you need, you know? Uh, I got Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, author of Girl on the Train. So a, a thriller there. Uh, I got Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. So this is essentially um, 
the the tale of um, what happened during um, House of the Dragon, the TV show. And I believe it's told by three different characters. Uh, I don't know if it says... Maybe it's not. Maybe that's a different one. I don't even know. There's too many George R.R. R. Martin books that aren't Game of Thrones books. Yeah, it begins with Aegon's Conquest. That'll be cool. Okay, uh, Less Than Zero by Brett Easton Ellis. I don't really know anything about this. Apparently it's set in LA. That's more than I knew about it until now. Just picked it up. They had a whole bunch of Brett Easton Ellis, but again, it was one of those three little book, book uh, libraries, so I didn't want to take the piss and take too many books, especially when I had to run home with them. So, um, yeah, I only grabbed the one. Uh, we have Billy and the Mini Pin, no, Billy and the Min Pins. So apparently it's Roald Dahl's very last story and, and is illustrated by Quentin Blake for the first ever time. Uh, Blake being one of the long-term illustrators for Dahl's works. Uh, there's a Boy in the Girl's Bathroom by Louis Sackar. Um, this one will be interesting to read just because I was... Oh, there goes the phone. This one will be interesting to read because uh, I really enjoyed Holes and the other one of his books that I read, which I can't remember right now what it was. Alice Walker, You Can't Keep a Good Woman Down. Um, just some Alice Walker, another one of the authors who I want to read everything by. So that when I saw that, I knew I had to grab it. Uh, and then H.G. Wells, Love and Mr. Lewisham. I know absolutely nothing about this one. Um, but it's H.G. Wells. So there we have it. Those are all of the books that I got in the month of September. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another book's video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.